this is a, a dream job. This is basically a job that you go out and, and you say, well, I want to go play outside. Well, every time I come to work, it's like a playground. My name's Melvin Betancourt, design manager for Ford Motor Company. Often it'll happen in a meeting. We'll both go, wait a minute. It's, <laughs> it's the same time. Same time. Yeah. My name is Julie Rocco. I'm the program manager on the Ford Explorer. And I'm Julie Levine, and I'm the program manager on the Ford Explorer. We're the two the Julies. Julies. <laughs> you know, honestly, I, I, I have to just um, look back in my upbringing, I, I get a lot of determination from my parents. Um, both are Irish immigrants that came over here and had to make a life over here and it wasn't that easy. I'm Jim Holland, I'm the chief engineer for the uh, Ford Explorer program. As a child, I spent my summers at car shows with my dad. He was always building cars. I'd be out in the garage helping him build something, you know, handing him tools. He's someone who's a little bit tech averse, so he's a little taken aback by some of the technology at first glance. And I actually use that to help me when I design. As we picked people for the teams, we wanted folks who not only <laughs> thought of this as a, a job, but also thought of it as a mission. This is the Explorer, and we really want to surprise people. When I talk to people, when I say Explore, it's almost like you see them smile because almost everybody either owned an Explorer, knew somebody had Explorer, traveled an Explorer. There's almost a, a special trepidation, almost a, a fear when you're working on a program that's iconic. Wow, you get to reinvent this, you know, and it's been out there for 20 years and there's been six million of them sold, but you, you get to take the all new one, ground up. That is a major responsibility and we take it very seriously. Everything I do, it, I do it with a passion. I, I, I'm a true believer that if, if you do something mediocre, if you practice something mediocre, well, you're gonna do it mediocre. There were some extremely late nights, and I'm talking really late nights, uh, sitting together with the vehicle. You see these aha moments that the uh, designers come up with, and it's magic. It really is magic when you see a very early concept you're not sure where they're going, but all of a sudden things start to click. As a young child, my mom taught me how to dance salsa. If you look at the arm or the leg of a professional dancer, you will see the subtleties, you will see the crown and the undercut, depending on what part of the body you're looking at. And that's one of the things that I kept in the back of my mind as we were developing the car. We're both working moms. It's like a child to us, right? We've, we've spent years preparing it, maturing it, honing it. When people see this, I love when people see this, I think it's beautiful. It's fun to watch people. It is, <laughs> it's really fun. Well, if I'm given the chance to announce to the world the Ford Explorer. If I had to introduce the Explorer. Um, go first or do you want to go? Uh, go ahead. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. Are, are you ready to see it? What I would say is that. It's totally different. It's totally new. You're going to be amazed. This is the new Ford Explorer. Are you ready to see the new reinvented Explorer? The sport utility vehicle for the 21st century. And I would pull the cover and I would want to hear the people's amazement and go, ah. Oh.